What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. My name's Josh McCann, and uh, today's episode, it's an afternoon trip. Pretty busy out getting some gas in the boat, but we're gonna catch you guys out there. We're probably going about 20 miles out. We're gonna try and shoot some hogfish, snapper. Ben might try and shoot a wahoo or something, but we'll see how it goes. Catch you guys out there. All right, we just got to the, the first spot. It's about 60 feet. Got a jug in the water. Ben just hopped in real quick. He's got his new gun loaded up. About to get the roller out. And I'll catch you guys in the water. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. Today's episode, we're diving after work and got a couple dives left. I mean, we didn't go out there for too long. We were out there for maybe an hour and a half, but we decided we were gonna go out and try and get some fish. So it's just me and Ben, we're having a good time. This is my third dive, I wanna say, and um, just going down. And I knew where some fish were, kinda landed on some bigger rocks here, found a little sand patch, and kinda just decided to lay there and see what would come in. Cause I mean, there's a good bit of fish here. As opposed to our last video in the Keys, there was pretty much no fish anywhere. And I just knew that if I laid here long enough, I'd see something that was worthwhile. So, just laying here, looking around, slowly moving around, and after I've been down here for a while, I finally spot a, a gag all the way behind me. Kind of under ideal conditions right there, but I turn my gun super slowly and get as low as I can to the bottom. and not really focus on him too much but you can see him right about there you can finally see him and I got low enough to where he couldn't really see me and then I just started slowly slowly approaching him and pushed off right there finally got a good shot on him and took the shot got a really good stone shot on him and I was pretty confident that he wasn't going anywhere so I just decided to let him uh, stay down there I didn't feel like swimming over there because it was pretty far shot and then we're at about 63 to 64 feet here and come up to the surface not too bad but um overall pretty good dive and as I'm pulling this fish up here in a second you'll see that there was about a five or six foot tiger shark he was pretty small he was just curious he didn't, he didn't really try and attack us or anything but he was just curious as to what was going on you can see him right here and He's just swimming around. He, we had flashers and chum in the water, and he just swam up to the chum bag and was looking at the flashers. But go down here, front a couple times, and uh, he just decided to head on out of there. So, no problems with that. He dipped. I went down and grunted at him, and he was like, oh no. So this is my next dive. I hop back in the water right after throwing that gag in the cooler. And um, I was just holding onto the ladder off the back of the boat. The current was pushing pretty hard this day, but um, we made do. That's why in pretty much all these clips I'm laying right next to the boat. But if you guys like this new style of video, make sure to drop a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. But um, yeah, we're, we're putting a little bit of music back there. and including all the dives in this uh in this video here so if you like this style make sure to let us know this clip here is pretty cool i um uh, grunt a couple times land there and just looking around and as you see there's a there's a decent hogfish and i i kind of thought about it but i i didn't know if he's legal or not so i just i let him go there and if you noticed there was a there was a red grouper off the left side of the screen over there and um, I grunt and I kind of just lay here and I know they're pretty territorial so he decides he's going to swim all the way over to me and as I see in a second here I uh, look back up and he's pretty much right in my face so I decide hey why not pretty good red grouper he ended up being about 23 and a half 24 inches but um Overall, pretty good dive here. Ended up being about two minutes. <laughs> and I'll kind of just let you guys watch the rest of this one. 
pretty cool clip here. red right here. The grouper are kind of thick here. My gun got much wrapped. Good thing I, uh, I waited until he came in. So that fish was uh, 23 and like 3 quarters. It was pretty much 24. But uh, pretty good red grouper for around here. Um, Especially in this depth, we're diving about 65 feet or so. Ben's down right now. We're trying to see if we can get more grouper or something, but nothing crazy going on here. But picked off a couple good fish. Can't complain about it. So, catch you guys back in the water. This here is my last dive of the day. I only took about six dives this day, but overall, pretty good day. Um, I'll kind of just let you guys watch this one. It's a pretty cool clip. Sadly, I ended up missing, but it is what it is. Kept diving and um, just made the best of it. This here is um, 60, 65 feet, same area. And um, just let you guys watch and enjoy. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and all that stuff. If you guys got any ideas, any thoughts that you think we should do or anything like that to the next video be sure to drop it in the comment section and we'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs>